Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Sir, how you doing? What was your name again? Raymond. Raymond, brother Raymond. So, the important thing is us knowing who we are, right? Because with with knowing who we are, we know what role we play in the Bible. You said you're going to heaven, right? Yes. There's key things you have to do that's outlined in the Bible for you to get the kingdom of heaven, correct? Yes. With that, that's what we are here teaching. What you have to do to get to those things. Now get we, might, we, we, we might be, be probably looking at different avenues. So we don't we don't have to look at different avenues because the book we believe in has all those things I outlined. Know, that's right. 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 So how will you get into the kingdom of heaven? God bless the first that man believe in our heart. That God raised, if thou confess with that mountain, if you can, high, okay. that God raised Jesus from the grave, thou okay. shalt be saved. Right. And if thou the same, uh -huh. thou have the heritage that thou have the heritage with this with the son. Okay. Brother Raymond, what everything you just said is Christianity. Right. That's right. That's, that's the same things that was forced on us. Yeah. That's the same belief. All you have to do is confess in your heart. Okay? How y'all doing? All right, what we're discussing is how to get to the kingdom of heaven, right? Because the first thing we have to do is know who we are and what we have to do to get to the kingdom of heaven. Is that correct? We don't want to go just guessing. This is the most important thing of, of our lives, right? To know what's going to happen at the end. Did you live rightfully? Did you earn it? Right? right? Let's read. Let's see what the Bible say. Revelation 14, verse 12. You say all you got to do is confess, believe, have faith. Right? Let's see what the Bible say. The book of Revelation, chapter 14, and verse 12. Here, we go. here is the patience of the saints. Okay. So, here's the key. We're talking about knowing who you are. So, the Bible say, here's the patience of the saints. Okay. So, who are the saints? Get that. Right. Who are the saints? What do you mean, us? Saints. Dark, just dark people? Oh, the 12 tribe. Okay, okay. So the 12, the 12 tribe. So he says the saints are the 12 tribes. You ever heard that, Mr. Raymond? No, I said Sis, you ever heard that? No, I say. You heard that before? Am I wrong okay. Though? So I, I say, you correct. I, oh, okay. So I say, I say the saints are those who believe in who believe in the cross. Okay, you say the saints are those who believe in the cross. He yeah. say the saints are the twelve tribes, and the sister say she heard that too. Let's see what the Bible say. Go ahead. The book of Psalms, chapter one forty eight and verse fourteen. Bring it up. He also exalted the horn of his people. The horn of his people. Go ahead. The praise of all his saints. Uh huh. Even of the children. Of Israel. So, Mr. Raymond, there's there's some there's something going on here. You said the saints are those who believe. He said, the Bible said the saints are the children of Israel, like the brother said. So, let's go back to Revelation 14, 14 verse 12. This, you see what I'm saying? All right. Revelation 14 verse 12. Let's go through that again. The book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. So here is the patience of the children of Israel. Go ahead. Here are they that keep the commandments of, of God. Here's the thing now, Mr. Raymond. The children of Israel, in their patience, they're going to keep the commandments of God. That's right. Let's see why. And 
and the faith of Jesus. So the children of Israel, they're going to keep the commandments of God. Right. Because that's the way, let's get, get that in Matthew. That's the way to the kingdom of heaven. Right. If you say, if you say you have faith, I should see you keeping the commandments. Right. Yes. Do you, do you know some of the commandments? Yes. Do, brother, do you know some of the commandments? Give me a little bit. Let me see what you know. Oh, no, no, they don't put me a blast like that, but that's should not kill, that's should not steal, things like that, you know, in that nature right there. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank that, you. Was, that was a commandment given by Jesus. He said, he said, he said, he said, well, you being son. So what is the greatest commandment? Uh-huh. He said, love with all your heart and all that soul. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, we're going to touch on that a little bit. Yeah. Go ahead. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, pay attention, Mr. Raymond. Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So that's what we're discussing here. What is the process to go through to get eternal life? Go ahead. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one. Go ahead. That is God. Go ahead. But if thou will enter into life, uh -huh. keep the commandments. What? Keep the commandments. Uh -huh. He said, if you want to enter into the eternal life, right. you got to keep the commandments. And That's right. right. The, okay, we're going to touch on a few of the commandments, Mr. Raymond. This is the same verse you read. He give you, he give okay, you okay. Verse. No, no, no. Go back, go back. Verse 18. He said unto him, which Jesus said, uh -huh. thou shalt do no murder, uh -huh. thou shalt not commit adultery, okay. thou, shalt, thou shalt not steal, okay, Mr. Raymond, thou you? shalt not bear false witness, go ahead. honor thy father and thy mother. Go, go back to the uh, bear false witness. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Where is that in the Ten Commandments? That's not right. And what, and, and what else he left out there? Go ahead, keep reading, keep reading. Honor thy father and thy mother, uh -huh. and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay, now let's go back. So, so, those, so, so Christ threw out a few commandments for us to follow. Right, so but is that it? It's all good. Is that it? I can get that right. No, that's not it. There's more commandments for us in the Bible. That's right. Like for example, we shall love each, uh, love love your neighbor as yourself. That's not going on nowadays. No, no. They're having a march. Uh, the so-called white people are having a march because they're outraged that the so-called Negro is just killing themselves. It's giving a bad look for the, for the city. Yeah. That's why they're taking a the stance. And they like it too. It's, it's driving the property level down. You see them downtown uh, reviving the neighborhoods, right? Yeah, what it's all but about yes, yeah, the scat know, is know, buying I all the neighborhoods. Hey, 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 you got our info's on that flyer. Reach out to us, all right? All right. So, so, Mr. Raymond, with us killing one another, it shows that there's something more that we have to do. Right. We have to know who we are. Because within not knowing who we are, that's why we are able to look at each other as nothing. Because if I look at you as one of the children of Israel, there's no way I'm going to have that in my heart to just murder you. Right. Right. Uh, so, Mr. Raymond, we're going to touch on some of the commandments that we don't know. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it up. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So God says the children of Israel, they can't make themselves bald. If they're going bald, that's fine. But they can't make themselves bald. So a children of Israel, if a man make himself bald, guess what he's in? Guess what he's doing? Sis, you understand what I said? If a man, the, the children of Israel, right, bald his head, what did he do? He committed a sin. That's right. Woo! Good. You with us? I'm with you. You commit a sin if you bald your head. So that's a commandment for you not to bald your head. Right. Go ahead. They shall not make boldness upon their head. Uh -huh. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Where, where's the corner of your beard? Where, where is that? I don't where, know a beard, so I don't know. Yeah. Nah, we just, we're, I'm not pointing a finger at I, you. I, I, I you we're, we're discussing so the I, commandments. I, I just, I just, thought, just tell yeah. me, where's the corner of your okay. beard? Your face, right? That'll be your face. Right. The corner of your beard is your, your face. Right. So God says, 
The Israelite man, he can't bald his head. The Israelite man, he can't shave his face. Right. Or they're gonna be in sin. Right, sis? They're gonna be in sin. You understand? You have a concept of what sin is. You understand what sin is? What is sin? Right. Sin is uh, uh, transgressing God. Transgressing God's laws, right? So now, as an Israelite man, you might not be a. This brother's here. Look at, look at the. He might not be able to grow all of it, but look what he got. He's not cutting it off because right. he understand he's gonna be transgressing God's laws. Right. right. He's not gonna try to. Oh man, it's growing weird. I'm gonna cut it all off. That's gonna be transgressing against God. Right. He's gonna let whatever he got grow. Right? D same thing apply with all of God's commandments. It don't have to be about what we've been brainwashing to believe in, faith, none of that stuff. Right. We gotta apply God's commandments. Yes, Let me right. show you one more thing. One more thing. Numbers 15 verse 38. If you don't have faith, then we'll do the Say what? If you don't have faith, we'll give us the commandments. There's, it, it's not. It goes in and hand. We, okay. Remember, we read Revelation 12 and 14. It says, those that keep the commandments and the faith in Jesus. Okay. That's right. Because it don't, it don't make sense for you to just keep the commandments and have no faith. Guess what? With you not having no faith, you're not going to have no discipline to keep the commandments. Right. Right. So it don't work like that. Right. So you have to have that faith. Right. And also, that faith builds fear. Right. And that fear builds your confidence to keep the commandments. That's right. So that's how it works. Go ahead. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Yeah. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them uh -huh. that they make them children, I'm sorry, that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generation. So all our generation, your mama, your grandmama, you, we're all supposed to have fringes. Her, our sister here, their children, and when they children grow up, we're all, all supposed to have fringes. Mr. Royman, what's fringes? I don't know. Take take a look. There's, there's about 15 brothers here that's giving you a hint. What are fringes? Friendship? No, no. Fringe. Fringes. Fringes. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So fringes in the borders of their garments. So these are fringes. This is a style of a, of a fringe, right? Go ahead. Um, in, in the borders of their garments throughout their generations uh -huh. and that they put upon the fringe uh -huh. of the borders a ribbon of blue. So upon the fringe, we got a ribbon of blue. Guess what? That's a statue for the children of Israel. That's right. That's something we should all be doing. Right, right. right. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. See that? That's, that's the purpose of this. To remember what? All the commandments of the Lord. So to remember all of God's commandments. Right. There's many commandments that we have to learn. There's things we have to be retaught under this image that taught us falsely. Right. All right. Sis, you that, know your nationality? That's just a superficial image that's projected by, per se, your Caucasian brethren. You know what I mean? Exactly. But they're just superficial. They don't mean anything. Okay, it, 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 this means a lot. No, that, that doesn't mean anything. I, I could portray him as black, I could portray him as green. This orange, sis, blue. you ever seen this image before? I've already seen that image. What does that represent? Who do, who do the world say this is? Yes. Uh, the European. Yes, the European. That is uh, the Son of God. They say this is the Son of God. That's, that's what goes out the world. I don't say that. You, Mr. Raymond, we, we're saying what goes out the oh, world. Okay. You may not say that, no. but a majority of right. the people believe that this is the Son of this is the Son that's of God. Right. This is what God looked like. Right. This is what Mary looked like. This is what God's people look like. Right. No. That's no. why these people can go throughout the world and commit murders commit ha wreck havoc on the world and the world don't bat an eye because they think this is the children of God. That's why they get away they before get away with, with murder before, because of this image right here. Before, before, before you came into the knowledge of God, uh -huh. ask you a question. When you dream and you dream of strange people, when you dream a vision of strange people, what color, what language do you dream of? What do you mean? What do you mean? What, Let's get what, to the point. What what language did you what language did we speak? What you mean? When you dream of a strange person, 
that you never met before, but they, they strange in your dream. Yeah. What language do they speak in? They speak in English. <laughs> let's get to the. Okay. Let's get, let's get to the point. Let's, let's get to the point. Let's get back. Let's get back on track. Let's get back on track. Let's get back on track. You got some? You feel where I'm coming from here, now? All right. Okay. So, Mr. Raymond, let's get back on track. All right. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14 His head and his hairs were white like wool So this is the fact that's in the Bible It says the hair of his head was woolly And the color was white like snow Like sort of like your hair The hair on your beard is white Right? It's becoming white Go ahead And his eyes were as a flame of fire Meaning the, the prophecy was what? Christ was going to be drinking Right? He was going to come drinking and eating, right? Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. Here's the problem right here. It says his feet was like fine brass. What's fine brass? Brown. Brown, right? Yes. Yeah. So Christ's color is what? Brown. His physical image brown. Brown. All right, let's see how brown. As if they burn in a furnace. If you take brass and you burn it in a furnace, what, what color does that brass now come? I don't know metallurgy like that. Know. You, have, you ever seen the process of cleaning brass? Y'all ever seen brass? Let, let's not just say brass. Let's just say, sis, you cooking and you, and you take something, you put it in the oven and it slipped your mind. You, when you pull it out and it's burnt, what color is that? Black. Black. Right. So that brass, when it come out, is black. So Christ was what? A very dark black man. That's right. Y'all ever heard that before? Brothers, y'all ever heard that before? Watch this, Mr. Raymond. Who's this? Jesus. Who? Jesus Christ. You heard that, Mr. Raymond? Yeah. You see the problem here? Bring it up! So where, where have you ever read that Jesus is look like this in the Bible? Right. Let me show you. Let's go back. Did y'all hear what I just read? All right, take out, take out your earphone. Take out, take it out. That's right. Listen to this. Revelation, four, verse one, verse fourteen. Yeah. His head and his hair were white like wool. So his head and his hair were white, and the texture was like wool. What does that mean, brother with the red hoodie? He's white. His white? He's white. Okay, let's read it from the top again. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So what it's talking about is the, the hair. The hair on his head and the hair on his face were white. Look at Mr. Raymond. You see the hair on Mr. Raymond's beard? Just like that. So it was white. So, and now the texture was what? Like, like wool. It says the texture was like wool. What does that mean? What does wool feel like? What is that texture? Who? Look at his. So Christ had texture like both of y'all hair, right? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So it's his eyes were as a flame of fire. Nothing weird. When you drink, the whites of your eyes turn red. Right? Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Okay, go ahead. As if they burn in a furnace. Now, as if they as if, as if that brass was burnt in a furnace. What does that mean? Black. That's right. Blackity black, black. That's right. Dark. Christ was a dark skinned man. Right. So, how do we get this image? Right. When did we get this image? Right. When did when do you think we we was we got this image? When? Come on. It's at the tip of your tongue, man. I know you wanna say it. Fight it. Say it. Let's start with an S. How about slavery? Y'all know anything about slavery? You ever been downtown? You seen the statues? So we was forced this image right. through slavery, Deuteronomy right. 28. So Mr. 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 Raymond, right? 
that's the that's why we're trying to get to the bottom of who we are that's knowing our true right. identity because right. all that ties in with our salvation right we can't, right we can't get to our salvation without our nationality because right. christ is coming back for that nation of people that's so right. we, we have to get to know who we are and change our mindset we used to scream black power while heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.